I'm gonna drill a line of holes here, and let's do a video looking at how, what rainbow trout look like on sonar. Hopefully, if we can find some. Let's get going. Might have to go shallower. It's a little deeper than I like to start the rainbows. Let's see if there's any out here. Okay, so what we're seeing here is, this is actually air bubbles and ice trapped on my line, and then this red line here is the jig going up and down. So we'll see if we can get any fish on the graph here. Never fished this lake, so I'm not sure. 20 feet deeper than I normally would start for rainbow trout. I typically like to start, I typically like to start in 15 feet or shallower. But we'll give this, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. It's constantly military jets roaring overhead right now, which sucks. You can see as the ice is melting and the air bubbles are coming off the line, that's actually clearing up on the top there quite a bit. Oh, there's fish right there. See it? Come up. He's chasing it. Ooh, I missed him. He bit it, and I missed him. See if he's coming back. Look at it again. There we go. Got him. Nice. He saw that line, that red line, chasing it up and down through the water column. Oh, he popped off right there at the hole. Well, that sucks. Well, bummer. Sometimes you can go down to the bottom and stir things up a bit. Bang it on the ground. Sometimes that helps uh, fish detect it with a lateral line. They can sense those vibrations. There's fish coming up off the bottom. See it? You see that? It came up off the bottom and a fish followed it. Look, there he is. He's chasing it. That working that lateral line actually made him hit it. Or come look, check it out at least. He's still checking it out. They like to chase it on the fall. Still there looking at it. Right on top of it, sniffing it. Not going for it though. There he is, got him. All right. That was awesome. I tell you, sometimes smashing on the bottom can get them to excite their lateral lines and uh, they just sense all that disturbance and they come after it. That's a pretty rainbow. Healthy looking. Using barbless hooks today, no bait. So, try and handle it nicely. Still got a lot of energy. Very healthy looking rainbow. Come on. There we go. Oh, beautiful fish, look at that, gorgeous. All right, Get that beautiful fish back in the water. See you later, bud. There we go. All right, let's get another. That was a beautiful rainbow. And it was so neat how I went down and tested my hypothesis that banging it on the bottom might draw a fish in. And uh, that's exactly what it did. Oh, there's fish. See it? See it coming up? It's coming up. It's coming up. Coming up. Coming up. It's chasing it. It's coming. Here it comes. Come on. There's another one on the bottom. If I can get two of them going, then I can get some competition. Usually, you'll get one of them. Here comes the other one. The other one's going away. There's two or three fish here. 
see the two lines converging. Oop. Try jigging a little bit, just up and down. No, nope, they both lost interest. Let's see if I can get them back by dropping it down towards the bottom. Nope, both those guys swam away, unfortunately. Darn, usually when you get two like that, you can get a little competition bite going. Not this time. But with these rainbows, I tend to cover the whole water column. You know, work shallow for a while, then mid column, then deep. Um, the reason I do that is because if there's some fish feeding shallow and you're fishing below them, odds are they're not going to detect it. It's a lot easier for fish down low to detect a lure up above them, but not the opposite. Oh, there's fish coming. Oh, we take a look. Oh, I missed him. I can go back down to him. Oh, he has got him. All right. Moving to a new lake is a good idea. Came in quick. Make that happen fast. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty little fish. I might get my gloves off here. Come on. Man, I was in here five minutes. I got a fish on already. This is great. Pretty awesome. That's a pretty rainbow. Checking. And back on the there he goes. Sweet. Let's get another. Oh, here's a fish. Look at that. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. Let's see if he's still hungry. He's looking at it. Ooh, nibbled it. I didn't get him. Dang, he came out of nowhere so fast. Just wanted to slam it, but he must have just grabbed the tail. Oops, there's fish down the bottom. See it? Right there. Let's see if we can get him. Those bottom hugging ones are probably keyed in on something else. There might be another fish there in mid column, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I got him. You see how he came in from down? A little aggressive. That is so typical. Nice. Oh, pretty one too. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's going back under the ice. It's like, wait a minute. I don't want to be on top of the ice yet. You can actually see him underneath the. There's another fish there. Down below us. Oh, that one goes free. Let's see if we can get down there and see. get to that one. There was another one down there at like 11 feet while I was bringing that one up. Let's see if we can get him. There he is. Just saw him. There he is. Oh, I missed that bite. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them, two of them, two of them. Let's see if we can get them. There's still one on the bottom where he comes up. Oh, I missed him. Dang. Look how aggressive these fish are. They are just chowing on that thing. There we go. We've got another one. There's another one on the bottom. It's a big school of them. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh. Hooks are tough. Let's see if there's any more down there. We had a school come through. Uh, low conversion rate here. I got these. Dang. Lost both fish on that. Oh well, it's cool to see the attack though.
is any better. Here comes the fish. Oh, not interested at all. That was not aggressive. Just came up, take a look, left. Looky Lou. Looky Larry. And if it was a female, it was a Looky Lucy. Nope. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Looking at it. Just looking at it. There's a couple fish down there. There we go. Get him. <laughs> well, he was really investigating that thing. There we go. Bringing him up. Nice fish. That one looks really healthy. Well, that's going to be my last one of the day. Hope you learned a little bit how to identify and use sonar for fishing for rainbow trout under the ice. I'll see you guys next time out on the ice. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.